Hi everyone, this video is going to go walk you through the two different types of systems of equation word problems we discussed in class. So we're going to look at solving algebraic word problems using a system of equations and we're going to look at the two main types that come up often on the Regents exam. Let's first review the steps you should be going through when you're solving your system of equations word problems. First, you're going to read the problem and you're going to highlight important information. Then you're going to define your variables. Oftentimes we use X and Y, but if you're going to use X and Y, you have to write what they represent in the problem. If you would like, you can use variables that match the um, situation that the problem is talking about. Then you're going to write your two equations. Then you're going to determine which method you will use to solve. When we solve algebraically, we have two choices. You can use elimination or substitution. And then we're going to check our answers. Um, checking doesn't have to be a big thing. You could just check them on the calculator to make sure they make sense to the problem. And last, but the most important thing is you don't want to forget to label your answer. If it's a word problem and you're solving a system, you're not just writing your answer as a point. You need to actually label what your answers mean to the problem and make sure you're answering exactly what the question is asking. If they're asking you to determine um, only one part or both parts, make sure you're answering and labeling what they're asking you for. So let's look at the first example. Okay, I have the steps written on the side and we're gonna check them off as we go. It says, you are running a concession stand at a basketball game. You are selling hot dogs and sodas. Each hot dog costs $1.50, so I'm going to highlight that, and each soda costs 50 cents. I'm going to highlight that. At the end of the night, you made a total of $78.50. I'm going to highlight that. You sold a total of 87 hot dogs and sodas combined. You must report the number of hot dogs sold and the number of sodas sold write and solve a system of equations that can be used to find the price of one hot dog and one soda. I'm also going to highlight that last sentence because um, that's what's telling us what we're solving for. Um, it tells us two things. One, what we have to label at the end when we're done. And two, it tells us what our variables are, what we're missing in this problem. So now we're done highlighting we're going to define our variables. So again, the pink highlighted section tells us we are finding the price of a hot dog and a soda. So we can use X and Y, but if it doesn't tell, you, tell us what variables to use, I'm gonna use H for hot dog and S for soda, just so that when we set up our system, it makes it a little bit easier for us because we know what is what. So now we defined our variables. So we're gonna write our equations. In these types of equations, the hint I gave you in class is that money always has to stay with money. There are three numbers in this problem that have dollar signs, so they all need to be in the same equation, and they're all highlighted in yellow. So if I'm given the, the problem on paper, I like to mark it up sometimes. So where it says hot dog, I would write an H because that was the variable, and that goes with my dollar fifty, and then. I'm combining that with the cost of sodas. Sodas cost 50 cents, so I'm putting that with the 50 cents. I'm gonna combine them, which means we're gonna add them, and that a total of 78.50 means that's what it's equal to. So now I can put my equation together um, because I already wrote everything in the problem. So I have a $1.50H plus 0.50S equals 78.50. Now, the only other number in this problem that we know is 87 hot dogs and sodas combined. So that means we don't know which is which, how many of each, but we do know that there was a combined total of 87, which means our second equation is going to be adding our two variables, H and S, and setting it equal to 87. So now we wrote our equations. It is time to solve them. So we can have a choice here. Both methods would work very well. We can easily use substitution by rearranging the second equation to get H or S by itself, but I'm going to go through the elimination method in this problem. If I use elimination, I have to multiply one of my equations by a number to make an opposite or to be able to eliminate a variable. In this example, you can multiply only, you only need to multiply one and we can multiply the second one. Um, if I want to eliminate the H's, I'm going to multiply it by negative 1.50.
Okay, that would give me the opposites. So remember, it's like the distributive property. You have to multiply the entire equation by negative 150. So that's going to give us negative 150H minus 150S equals negative 130 and 50 cents. So now I'm going to rewrite the top equation exactly how it is below it. I didn't change anything. That one stayed the same. And now we're ready to solve. When we eliminate, we combine everything. So when you combine your H's, they cancel out. And now we're going to add our S's, which gives us negative 1. And we're going to combine our constants, which gives us negative 52. And the last step in this process would be to solve it. So if you divide both sides by negative 1, it gives us positive 52. So that means there are 52 sodas that were sold that day. So now we have to find hot dogs. So you're going to go back to your original two equations and you could choose either one. I try to choose whichever one looks a little bit easier to work with. So in this case, I'm going to use the H plus S equals 87. I'm going to replace my S with 52 because that's what we solve for and that's what we know. And now I'm going to solve for H. So this is a one step equation. You would just subtract 52 from both sides and you get H equals 35. So now we solved it. I'm not going to go through the check, but it's very easy to check this on your calculator. You would want to make sure that 52 plus 35 does add up to 87, which it does. And then you could take the 35 hot dogs, multiply it by $1.50 and 52 sodas, multiply it by 50 cents and it should total 78.50, which it does. Last is to label your answer. So somewhere on your paper, you would want to write 35 hot dogs were sold and 52 sodas were sold. And that's it. So that's one type of problem that comes up often um, in terms of the way it's set up. Example two says you and a friend go to tacos galore for lunch. You order three soft tacos and three burritos and your total bill is $11.25. Your friend's bill is $10 for four soft tacos and two burritos. Write and solve a system of equations to determine the cost of one soft taco and one burrito. Okay, so this is the second type of problem they give us. Um, I find these ones a little bit easier because the equations are actually embedded in the problem. It's often comparing two different people's prices for something, whether it be lunch at a fast food place or at the grocery store, and you have to find the price of one of each. So we highlighted defining, we know we're looking for the cost of one soft taco and one burrito. So I'm going to use T for taco and B for burrito. And now I'm going to write in my problem, before I write my equations, I'm gonna mark up the problem. So three soft tacos I'm gonna put is three T and that's combined with, which means we're adding three burritos, which is three B and the total is 11.25. So that's our first equation. It was written pretty much right in the problem for us. 3T plus 3B equals 11.25. Our friend's bill is $10 for four soft tacos combined with two burritos. So the equation is going to be 4T plus 2B equals 10. Now we have our system. When we solve this one, I think elimination is the easier method for this one. But again, either one will work. You have to multiply both equations. So my hint to you guys, if you're not sure what to multiply by, is to take the coefficients of the first term, swap them. So four is gonna go on top, three is gonna go on bottom, and then you have to make one of them negative. So in this one, I made the bottom one negative. Doesn't matter which one, but I need to have opposite signs. So when I distribute, I do need to multiply both equations. So the top one's going to become 12t plus 12b equals 45 and the bottom one's gonna become negative 12t minus 6b equals negative 30. Now we combine these. So our t's cancel out, which leaves us with 6b equals 15. Divide both sides by six. We do get a decimal, but remember we're finding a cost. So we're talking about money. So we get 2.5 as our answer, but we wanna write it as money. So we're gonna put a zero at the end, which means one burrito costs 250. Now I'm going to pick, doesn't matter in this case, but I went with the top equation and I replaced my B with 250 and then I solve this. So first I multiply, then I would subtract the 750 from both sides and divide by three, which gives me T equals 125. So now we solved it. 
So again, I would check this in my calculator. I would do both people. I would check each one at a time to make sure the prices do come out, which they do. And then last is we're going to label our answer. So we know that the price of one taco is $1.25 and the price of one burrito is $2.50. So those are, that's the second type of example you'll see a lot. And um, in terms of algebraic, these are the main two types that come up on the algebra regents. So that is it. Hopefully um, this was helpful in helping you to set it up. Um, you know, remember these steps are important to follow because they will definitely make it a little bit easier for you. Thanks for watching, guys. I will um, see you guys soon.